I'm Mike Merker, the Mechanical Engineering Manager here at Convey, and we are here at our new Winchester facility in Roseburg, Oregon, testing an iJoy stacker. This is a, an exciting project for us. Um, we've done an iJoy stacker in the past, but we are here with, with an updated version. We've gone through um, design changes to make it faster, to make it more streamlined. One of the biggest conversions that we did was convert it to all electric. So the hoists are all electric. For the canyon walls, the in and out are now driven off of a servo actuator to get more precision. But this line is a big accomplishment as it's the fastest one that we've ever done. The iJoyce coming in during production up to a thousand feet a minute and we can stack and outfeed those stacks continuously uh, at a thousand feet a minute. Here at our test facility, we're getting it up to 800 feet a minute due to testing capabilities, but that's a huge uh, exciting accomplishment for us. This was based off of, like I said, previous designs that we had done, so there's not the concept is the same, that you have canyon walls that guide the, the um, eye joist into the stacker, and the canyon walls swing open and drop the eye joist into a stack. This one is uh, different in the fact that the, um, the accumulator arms are coming in from both sides to capture the eye joist when the hoist is dropping. So as the, as the eye joists come in and a stack is being created onto the, the orange knees that you see here, the, the knees on the hoist will lower the unit once it's completed, but to be able to continue to run the line at a thousand feet a minute, there are accumulator arms that will come in that are pneumatically actuated that will catch the eye joists as they come in. So as the unit is um, coming down on the knees and, and transferring out, the hoist knees will come back up and the accumulator arms will open and the stack will fall onto the hoist knees, be able to continue to stack. The stack height on these are gonna be 42 inches uh, maximum. The big difference there is in the past, the hoists have been hydraulically actuated, whether it was with typically a large hydraulic cylinder, which requires a hydraulic power unit, which requires hoses and plumbing and opportunities for leak and not as much control. Going to electric gives our controls team better controllability of the machine itself, being able to position it better, being able to control the speeds better and faster, being able to run at a thousand feet a minute.